All right, first exercise, hopscotch reptile push-up. So in the middle of each hopscotch, you're gonna be coming down, you're gonna be doing two reptile push-ups. You wanna to try to get knee to elbow as close as you can, but you also wanna keep that core on nice and tight. For your feet, you wanna have nice light feet and you wanna be jumping at a really quick rate. You don't wanna have your knees coming up past your toes when you're landing and you just really wanna be powering through this. This is excellent for cardio and you're gonna be doing eight reps of this. So going down from one side to the other is counted as one rep. Pushing all the way through, you should be breathing heavy, keeping your core on strong for the reptile push-up. If you don't have the equalizer, again, just find something that you can jump over. You can do this on the floor as well if this is a little bit too hard for you, but just make sure that you're getting through this in a manner that you can get eight repetitions through. We're almost through, really pushing it out. Breathing should be up. Just make sure that you're really focused on your feet. When you are jumping from left to right, you wanna have those feet nice and soft. You wanna be landing on the balls of your feet. And you're really going for time here, so you really wanna bang this out as quickly as you can because you're gonna to try to get through this. This is a rep challenge. All right, next exercise, reverse pull-ups. So we're gonna get both of our equalizers. If you don't have the equalizer at home, find something that you can do, use to do reverse pull-ups. So we're gonna go for eight of these. You wanna keep your core on nice and tight. If you wanna make this a little bit more difficult, you can have your feet extended out, but just make sure your core is on and you're pinching the shoulder blades together so you're really contracting the back. You should really feel this in the back muscles right in the center. Next exercise, we got six mountain climbers, six cross mountain climbers, and six squat and press. So this is the meat of the workout right here. So we got six mountain climbers. You're gonna reset, and you're gonna go for six cross mountain climbers. And then you're gonna do one squat and press. So you should feel that in the shoulders and in the legs. So we're going for six more for this. Just really make sure that you're keeping your hips as still as you can. Reset, take your time for this, but make sure that you're trying to get through it as quickly as you can. You're gonna squat, press right up. You wanna fire that weight right through the ceiling. I'm using 15 pounds on my bar today. Uh, you don't need much more than that, especially when you're doing such a high repetition. For cross mountain climbers, just try to get that knee right to elbow as close as you can and really bang this out as quickly as you can. You wanna reset. If you can reset quicker than this, that's awesome. You can go right in from the six mountain climbers right into the cross mountain climbers and you're really just gonna power this last move up and reset again. All right, we're almost through this. We got a few left. Really make sure that you're concentrating on your breathing and keeping the hips still, the core on tight, the back straight. And when you're really pressing up, just make sure that you're engaging your core, you've got your weight in your heels, and your knees aren't going past your toes when you're performing the squat and press. If you can use more weight than 15 pounds per side, by all means, you can do this. If you don't have the T-bar at home and you have a set of dumbbells that you'd like to use, dumbbells will work just as well with this exercise. Just make sure when you're doing your squat and press, your weight's in your heels and you're traveling that momentum through the heels right up to the ceiling and knees not going past the toes. We got a couple left here. So one repetition is going through this at six mountain climbers, six cross mountain climbers, and one squat and press. That's considered one rep and we're getting through eight of these. We're almost done. Breathing should be tough, breathing should be heavy, but really firing the legs through. Come on, you're almost there. Just concentrate, you're gonna get through this last set. Perfect. All right, next exercise. We're hitting the floor, we're doing one-legged T-bar abs. We're going for eight. So we're doing eight repetitions per exercise. You're gonna come right down and right back up. If you have better flexibility than this, try to keep your legs straight, hamstrings up, right to the top. If you wanna use a little more narrow grip for the T-bar, or if you have dumbbells at home, that's fine, but just make sure that you're engaging your abs. 
and try to keep that lower back flat to the floor. So you really want to try not to having much of an arch there. If you can't do this exercise with weight, by all means, you can just do body weight by touching your hands to toes. All right, so lunge tricep extension. So for this one, I did try to go with a wide grip. My elbows were flaring too much. I was at the end of the round, so I went close grip so I could readjust my elbows. So my form was much better here. I could put my elbows right in tight. You don't want them flaring out. So this is really going to isolate the tricep for you. And you're going to extend that tricep extension right to the top, right to the ceiling with a lunge, not collapsing your knee in, just making sure that your core is also engaged with this, but really emphasizing tight elbows. When I mean tight elbows, you do not want them flaring. And you're going to go for eight repetitions for this one. Hit this video four more times to complete your workout.